that's the beautiful Matarazzo Dolomite. This material, as you can see, has an amazing pattern. Beautiful uh, white background, as you can see here. So it is white and creamish mixed. And you're gonna see lots of brown, goldish lines here and there. And in this block in particular, you're gonna see a little bit of peachy. Let me show you guys. It's hard to see in the pictures, even in the video, but I'm making this video to make sure you guys know it's natural from this Matarazzo to have that. So you're gonna see that. But most of, most of the time, it's just more creamish. So at the bottom, it's gonna be a little bit peachy. At the top, you're gonna see a little bit of peachy again, as you can see there. So I want you guys to make sure you know about it. Overall, it is beautiful, but you're gonna see those peachy here and there. So this is one slab, slab number one from this block, 10668. And I have another slab from the same block open here. So this one, it's actually slab number 13. And let me show you guys. Again, it has a beautiful pattern. Overall, it is creamish here and white, brown. But on top, you're gonna see more of the salmon or peachy color again. So make sure again, you guys know that. And there is a, a filled fish here at the bottom. Let me show you here. This is well filled, not gonna feel anything. Became a line, but it's there. It used to be a fissure. I want you guys to know that too. I don't think this is a problem at all. This material has a very smooth home finish. So it is home, it's not leather or polish. So it has a very dull look. So it's perfect because it, this material is very hard and resisted, but it might etch. But when it does, since it's home that as it is, it's gonna be very, very hard to see any etching. So it's perfect for kitchen countertops for sure.